आपको स्टार्ट करना चाहिए था ना मैम वाई यू आर वेटिंग ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस इंटरनेशनल वेबिनार विद द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ सपोर्ट एंड एनहांसमेंट ऑफ एसडीजी सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल we as a pit panipat institute of engineering and technology we welcome you all in this webinar and uh, the major objective of this webinar is to tell you how party uh, pit is supporting all these uh, uh, sdg goals in a community related to the pit for this particular webinar we have our dignitaries with us that will be speaking uh, first of all i like to introduce professor dr rajiv gulati sir professor dr rajiv gulati sir is a united nation member uh, who is helping us out in our mission of sustainability development goal uh, he has been honored by government of india dpiid ministry of commerce and industry goal for contribution towards building a unique incubation ecosystem of haryana state he has been honored by moe for his mentoring and acting as an evaluator for tigerthon he has mentored number of startups who also won national awards during startup india 2020 and also he has also uh, won technology transfer with vikram sarabhai space center isro under atmanirbhar bharat mission the second speaker who will be speaking in this platform will be professor dr shakti kumar professor dr shakti kumar is the director of panipat institute of engineering and technology this is the very honor moment to introduce professor dr shakti kumar professor dr shakti kumar has been awarded by eminent engineering personality by ie in 2019 He has also been awarded by Sir Thomas Ward Memorial Prize by Institution of Engineers in 2010. He has also been awarded by Rashtr Rashtriya Nirman Award 2001 by International Business Council New India New Delhi India. Uh he has with his uh with him approx 14 patents nine international book chapters he has also supervised 15 phd scholars and the number of patents and all these things the next speaker in this platform will be mr arindam bhattacharya sir mr arindam bhattacharya sir is the chief advisor marketing and strategy of panipat institute of engineering and technology Mr Arindam Bhattacharya sir is a pioneer in the field of sports marketing and knowledge consultancy and he is the founder partner of Credal Solutions. Mr Arindam Bhattacharya sir is the deputy manager marketing in Godrej and Voice, regional head for IMS Learning Resources Private Limited, one of the India's leading management and training institute. Next we have as a speaker our vice chairman sir Mr Rakesh Tail Panipat Institute of Engineering and Technology he has been president of Rotary Club Panipat executive president Prayas Narcotics Control Panipat and the member of Jimkhana Club Panipat uh he is a industrialist turned philanthropist educationist through thought leader and in management strategist with more than 22 years of education uh he is also the member secretary of pite sanskriti school khudda and the pite sanskriti senior secondary school nfl township under his vision only the pite is the number one institute of haryana i welcome you all uh, to spare who has spared your time to uh, give a talk at this platform uh Now I invite Dr. Rajiv Gulati sir to continue with his presentation and panelist discussion. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Bhavna, uh, uh, for this opportunity to interact um, with the leadership of uh, Panipat Institute of Engineering Technology, which is an, a, a leading uh, member of the state of this region of the United Nations Academy of Impact. 
uh, and to and contribute with their ideas and how they are bringing the impact to this small uh, panel discussion among the different dignitaries where the Dean Academia and uh, uh, Dr. Shakti and uh, Mr. Anandan and Rakesh Thayal going to contribute into that. To set the tone for uh, this particular uh, uh, panel discussion, uh, let me take into a wider angle that uh, where, where this, uh, this whole uh, webinar or the interaction has been uh, designed, where the University Global Coalition along with the United, United Nations Academia Impact uh, missions that how the youth and how the academia can contribute or can accelerate the Sustainable Development Goal 2030 mission. As we are aware that during this pandemic and during the crisis which we are now even going through of the war in our neighboring countries, there are a lot many thoughts which have changed as of now in the minds of the society. And the youth are contributing in a bigger way. And when we talk about the youth, there the contribution comes from the academia in a bigger way. So there are different policies, there are different missions which has been set by the United Nations under the UNDG 2030. And this Indian government has also initiated many, many, the policies have been aligned with the SDGs, the, they are an initiative with the academia which they are doing. So let us uh, set in a frame in, in this way that uh, looking into the UNESCO, when they said the Education for Sustainable Development 2030, in a broader way, on an, a priority action uh, uh, areas, they had defined five areas. We'll say that they, the first area was the advancing policy. Transforming learning environment is the second one. Then the building capacities of the educators. And the fourth is empowering the and mobilizing the youth. And the fifth is the accelerating local level actions. And you will look into that. This is the overall ecosystem. If you look, the academia can contribute in a bigger way. And when you come to the local as in a government of India, as the planning commission, which you call as an Niti Ayog, under their utter innovation mission, they are developing a lot many uh, incubators, the innovations and creativity uh, verticals within the academia. And there are also the community innovations and creativity which they want to align along with the sustainable development goals. Recently, they have launched uh, the documents that how the institutions can do it. That means that the international platform, there is a lot of uh, alignment into that at the local platform. There is in a government level, there's a lot of activity started. And there is an individual sustainable development goal mapping is also going on, where the Niti Yog is doing at a localization of the SDGs, where the youth are going to contribute in a bigger way. And I am fortunate that the PIT, PIT Institute of the Panipat Institute of Engineering and Technology, has joined the dots. That means the government at one side, where they have brought a couple of initiatives closer to the institutions. And one of them is the Ministry of Education, which have honored them to bring the idea lab out of the uh, northern four to five states. This is the only institution which has brought that idea lab into, into the institution. And then the mandate for that is to bring the creativity and innovation for the welfare of the society, for the welfare of the communities and localizing over there. And then when we say that uh, this whole story has to affect the society, the contribution of the citizens and uh, how the school children can get closer to this, this the pipe is also taken a number of initi uh, initiative into that. Now, making this as an agenda that uh, being in a UNI uh, uh, part of it, being the, uh, the, 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 the global sensitization to the governments, to the state governments, and to the uh, Ministry of Education and to the institutions. How PITE started contributing to it, and then how, how the different uh, innovations, the creativity can accelerate the SDG 2030. I will request uh, the Dean Academia, uh, Dr. Shakti, to come forward and give us those examples under which he has chosen specific thematics, the indicators, 
where the pi started working and started contributing to us. Uh, Dr. Shakti, uh, uh, for you, please. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Dr. Shakti, are you, uh, are you there? Uh, thank, thank you, Gladshap. Yeah, please. Uh, we all know that the COVID-19 has created havoc with the lives and the economy worldwide. And considering all those things, we thought we will align with two of the uh, three of the SDGs, SDG three that that uh, calls for ensuring healthy lives and uh, promote well-being for all at all ages. Uh, and then the seventh one was uh, uh, ensuring access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. And the, uh, SDG number eight, where we wish to align, is the uh, promote sustained, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment, and decent work for all. So these were the three uh, SDGs we were working on. And uh, apart from that, uh, in order to align with UNAI uh, principles, we chose uh, to take up uh, principle number three, a commitment to educational opportunity for all people, regardless of gender, race, religion, and ethnicity. And we took up principle number eight, that's our commitment to addressing issues of poverty through education. So uh, three SDGs uh, and the two of the principles in, in a broader way uh, we begin with. And in order to align with uh, SDG number three, that says uh, ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages, I took certain initiatives since the COVID was in progress. Uh, uh, our students went to the uh, nearby villages uh, sensitize the people about the sanitization, social distancing, wearing of masks. Uh, a good number of uh, villages uh, surrounding Pite were targeted. And then a large number of uh, masks were distributed, uh, sanitizers were provided, and towards the uh, 1920 uh, distribution of uh, food and providing transportation facilities uh, uh, were provided to facilitate people uh, to, to have the lesser impact. And then we started with the yoga camps uh, for uh, stress busters and uh, also participated in sports, uh, something like uh, 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 a marathon that was uh, conducted where uh, more thousands of uh, uh, women took part. Apart from that, we were into uh, the villages for uh, hosting drug de-addiction camps and then ensure, ensuring that PIT has some contribution towards ensuring uh, the healthy lives, happy lives, and promote well-beings for all at all ages. Uh, coming to the SDG 7 and 8, uh, that says ensuring access to affordable, reliable, sustained, and modern energy for all. Uh, uh, the pipe management took a good initiative to ensure that about 470 kVA of uh, solar-backed energy was provided to grid to have our own uh, contribution in giving sustainable and uh, clean energy. Uh, apart from that, uh, in order to promote sustained, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth, uh, uh, full and productive employment, and decent work for all, we tag this along with uh, uh, the UNI Principle 3 and uh, 8, uh, where we, uh, Principle 3 states, a commitment to educational opportunities for all, uh, regardless of gender, race, religion, and ethnicity. Uh, the pipe management was... Uh, uh, kind enough to start a project called Education for All. And in that, we begin with providing financial support for higher education. About 1,029 students were supported in the year 2021. Uh, that 
accounted for about 20.86 percentage of the students totally admitted who got the financial help and thus we were able to support some of the uh, students towards higher education thus aligning ourselves with the uh, uh, uni principle number 3 and uh, at the principle number 8 a commitment to addressing issues of poverty through education uh, we again started with the uh, uh, a trust to align ourselves with the uh, industrial revolution 4 which offers a lot of opportunity for innovations in the emerging areas and uh, uh, if we could have the trained manpower in the emerging areas such as artificial intelligence deep learning Uh, computer vision natural language processing uh, this could uh, help uh, uh, create job employment this could uh, help through the innovations a good number of startups uh, establish ourselves into a good number of uh, uh, entrepreneurs that could provide lot of uh, 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 the employment opportunities for uh, our students as well as to the uh, society uh, in that we trained about uh, 130 students in ideations innovations in the emerging technologies we commence with a super 30 batch that will uh, uh, that will be uh, you know trained into technology and business incubation uh, we had uh, Uh, uh sensitized four of the universities uh which is tmu fridabad or uh, dcrust uh, which is a neighboring university shri rama engineering college in hyderabad where we sensitized about 250 students and thus contributing towards uh, that the students should go for emerging technologies go for innovations and from innovations go for the startups and thus we we are sure that we will create a good number of opportunities uh, to the students students from the neighboring uh, institutions pan india and ensure that a good number of job opportunities are available and a decent life is created for our society uh, that was a few initiatives that uh, we have taken as an institution and we are on to it uh, taking a large number of uh, uh, innovation activities apart from establishing uh, uh, technology and business incubation to ensure that we have a, a to a larger extent we create a large job opportunities to ensure that the poverty remains uh, to the minimum level uh, th th these were the some of the initiatives uh back to you gulati sahab yeah uh, thank you uh, uh, director uh, shakti uh, i'm sorry that i spelled it as in a dean academy i mean you are the director and you are the leadership at the top level of uh, taking care of all the initiative at the university and uh, b b it's is 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 quite encouraging to uh, listen to you that uh, the panipat institute of uh, technology has uh, aligned almost the major initiatives from the last one year along with the sustainable development goals to name few which you have taken sdg 3 sdg 7 and sdg 8 and the uh, and the last at, at which you said the concluding that it is not only that you are uh, sensitizing your own students you are building in a community where lot many partnerships has been created under sdg 17 which is in a major action I mean, when you talk about uh, even the UNESCO says that we have to, and the NITIO says that it is the community which can bring in a change into that level, where the PIT has contributed in, in a number of ways uh, through your uh, inputs. That number of students from the school level, number of students from the uh, neighboring institutions, and uh, number of people from the neighboring villages, and how these have been uh, helped, how they have been been uh, awareness has been created among them for good health. good living and I, i will definitely say that it is it 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 uh, it it falls very much into that leave no one behind under the un mission that 
either it is from the gender side or it is from any community to which they belong or at the bottom of uh, the pyramid where we have seen you have started your discussion that during this pandemic lot many people they they have been bare from the health services from the food services from uh, what you call the education uh, imparting the education and uh, looking into your your, uh, your inputs that pipe has contributed in all this by either providing uh, the health facilities either the transport facilities for the health to, to reach the health services to their doorstep or to the food to their uh, uh, to, uh, to the needy and then parallelly the very interesting part which you touched over this is the, the yoga and the other things and the mental health because these days uh, this is becoming an, an major issue where the academia can play a major role it is not only these days we are providing the education the uh, mental health is becoming in the front uh, uh, at the front door that uh, the students should be and and their parents and their uh, what you call the peers their their mental health should be kept uh, active so that they should contribute in the society in the positive way and you have also touched the point where uh, uh, you, you said uh, uh, the environment the 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 environment factor of the university where you have created your own grid to feed the uh, the solar grid to feed to the power of the uh, and and uh, and uh, uh, the, the 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 green greenage of a, a greening environment green environment of the and in water conservation of your and uh, if if i am right to spell it out at this place i think your university has also won uh, the certifications from the big uh, 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 honored uh, you have been honored with in a certification that it is the best campus of that region where this as a green campus we have been awarded uh, thank you uh, uh, director sir dr dr shakti for this and to take this discussion further uh, i i will now uh, ask mr uh, arandan uh, because he is in touch with the uh, with the with the people at the grassroots level and he is the person who is joining the dots and bringing the communities closer to this environment if the facilities has been created if it has not been utilized if the awareness of this has not been created among those communities there is always in a challenge and i know in education the academia the mindset of uh, the different verticals the different departments the uh, the students the teachers has to be aligned to look into this aspect in addition to the education they are providing so you are in touch with the schools you are in touch with the field people your inputs regarding that how piety is taking this initiative and what are the reactions of those people when you go and talk to them and how this is bringing the things closer to you it matter a lot to this discussion so over to arindan ji uh, please contribute into that angle also thank you um, good morning uh, all my fellow panelists and a warm welcome to all the attendees i think it's an absolute privilege and honor to be sharing the platform with all of you and i think i would like to thank professor gulati and, uh, and dr shakti kumar ji a director pike for giving me this opportunity to speak and share my views see as a student as i grew on and the topic suggests building a legacy in a sustainable way so i think the key word over here is legacy i think and i think everything follows from legacy we are where because i am today 47 we are where we are today is a function of what our forefathers ancestors did so i think at every level and the entire mission of a united nation sustainable development goal is that we as individuals leave a better better safer wealthier healthier world for the next generation and all the students all the young people who are here you are going to be the harbingers of change you are the ones who are going to create you are the ones who you are the ones who are going to impact the society going forward when we talk about 2030 it's just about 8 years down the line maybe we are, it has to be our honest intention and effort to bring that change and any change happens once we are able to string in all the critical stakeholders and when i'm talking about stakeholder in this case there is a government on one side there's a government this government gives us the policy direction the policy thought process which we as academia people who are in the space of education which i call as the principal form of 
informing people, making them aware about things around them. So because we, our job is to, our role is to sensitize the community at large. Then comes the citizen. And finally, it's about the industrial linkage. Because all of us go back to the industry. And then that is how the loop completes. Because I think if I start to work in silos, I think nothing will happen. It has to be all strung in. So as an education institution and a leading institution of North India, the onus is on us to give back to the society. Give back to the society and lead a change. I always believe change management is an art. Maybe we always have a conservative mindset because I'll try and talk about a simple example. Like when we go to a school, I'm trying to take a simple example when we go to a school. I think this is something which I learned is that we use a plastic wrapper to have a chewing gum, a gum. But a lot of us have this habit of just throwing on the road without thinking of the tremendous damage that can do to our ecosystem. At the end of it, if a, if a young student in school it sensitizes about these little things, the change is enormous. Similarly, the books that we use, if you're able to recycle them, that brings about a change. And I'm talking from this perspective because at the same point of time, because I'm trying to be in advisory capacity in the marketing strategic function at Fight, I have actually worked very closely with the startup ecosystem that is coming up at PIET, which Dr. Shakti Kumarji just mentioned about it. It's very important, a future business that comes about has to also have a vision that the process of creating the business has to be a sustainable business, which impacts the society in a better way. Can we do something to recycle our waste? Can we do something by using emerging technologies and creating a footprint, creating a footprint that can add and change the entire spectrum? Like, so it's, it's about that entire process. So I always believe the processes, if the processes are right, the changes are bound to come. And, the, and for me, the process starts by hitting out and going to schools. There's a close, there's a village nearby just about one and a half kilometers from us. And in fact, fight falls under that area. It's known as Patti Kalyana. If you go there and you're sensitizing those little children there about those basics, about what to do and to manage the environment, I think the change is bound to come. So, and so the critical part is that fight the responsibility is not with us as an academic institution. It is about teaching and telling each. It's not about teaching. It's about sensitizing everyone about what needs to be done. So there are sirs at SDG 3, SDG 7, SDG 8. But for many students who are joining in here, it's about the sustainable developmental goals. That we have to grow as a nation, as a community, in a sustained manner. So our every action has to be in a way that we do not finish off what our forefathers or ancestors have given us. Like, so that means our entire process of using technology, because we are all, many of us will end up becoming great engineers. But we cannot be great engineers at the cost of destroying the universe. Our engineering has to be in a manner that brings about with it a sustained learning and a sustained transformation of the ecosystem in the society. And according to me, the journey starts early. And the journey starts at the school. So we are actually reaching out to schools, doing seminars, doing orientation sessions, doing talks which embeds them with the concepts of IoT and how IoT can impact the future. Even we are doing a talk on artificial intelligence, machine learning, how it can impact the society, how someone can actually work and recycle books. Even if I'm looking around us, because the idea is if I have to look around, we can see a lot of young students can think how a sugarcane waste Waste that comes from a sugarcane extract can also be created and converted into business idea. So once you're able to think on those lines, I think we'll be in a far, far better, safer, and a healthier society. Because I think this, the next generation is for you. It's for you. So rather, we are just trying to create that legacy in a more modern, more mature, and a more progressive manner. And I think at this point, I think I have laid out my views as to what we are doing, the way we are going forward, we are working with the schools, the students, with what perspective we are working, and there's a lot of work, and to the later part, you'll also see a kind of a transformative experience which a young student shall also share the later part of the session. So I think, thank you, over to you, Gulati, sir. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Arindanji, I mean, sharing your experiences or words of wisdom with uh, uh, how this uh, legacy 
can become an, a, a form of sustainability for, for the coming generations. Uh, uh, the interesting part which you touched is, uh, if I will elaborate into that, uh, being a Panipat Institute of Engineering and Technology, uh, having a different departments, maybe it is in a pharmacy, maybe it's in a management, maybe in the, the tech, uh, uh, faculty under the different uh, uh, tech department, maybe electronics, maybe communication, electrical, mechanical, and numerous other departments which are closely working into that and looking how these can, in real sense, become as a contributor towards what they're thinking towards the uh, a, a society which is a happy society and which can give uh, a, a legacy can leave the legacy into into this this region so uh, the interesting point which you touched is that uh, the next generation the youth the children the school children who they, they need the hand holding from the people who are matured into this uh, ecosystem the way the pipe needs in a hand holding from unai who understand this in a bigger way, working with the academia, the way we are committed to handhold the schools and we are bringing those children close to whatever the activities, maybe on the technology side, maybe on the contribution to the society, on the social impact side, or whatever the things we are talking about, they are becoming a part of this whole journey. Now, here we come and we say that the, the youth of today, we have to nurture them for those technologies, which is bringing, we call it in destructive technologies, but they have to be used in a better way to create in a society. It is not only the industry 4.0, it is also the society 5.0, where we have to keep the society at the center also. So unless until these children become, the student can become, the future leaders, it is of no use. Ultimately, the technologies has to be into the good hands. So I say technology for good is also a mission of fight where they are contributing along with these children who get sensitized and who started contributing at their own level that how the waste management can be taken care at the household level only. And because the India challenge is not the challenges with the European country or the American country are facing in the waste management. And then we found it practically that how the startups, which have been incubated, as uh, Dr. Shakti, the director said, that they have started a mission of Super 30, where the students have been financially supported, where they are supported by giving them the tools in their hands so that these challenges can be addressed to the technology through their innovative minds also. So when these startups start working with the future generations and the, the companies, the industry, which are already doing some good jobs, the things become becoming as in a, a great partnerships of bringing bigger change into that uh, region also. So these all initiatives, I will say at this moment, it is not just giving them the tools, teaching them how to use this for the betterment of the society is in, again a bigger mission which PIT has taken into in their hands. And all these things can't be completed if the leadership is not in sync with the ideas which have been developed nationally and internationally. And what I say generally that uh, uh, the leadership has to create the facilitations, the environment, where the throbbing environment, where every, every person start understanding that it is the good for the society, good for the individual. And that's why it is very important that their actions should speak also in this direction. So at this moment, uh, I say that the fight has created a playground for the innovators, for the startups, for those students who want to map their ideas along with the sustainable development goals and how this leadership is acting into that, how these facilities have been dedicated or a dedicated facilities has been created. I request the uh, vice chairman of uh, pa Panipat Institute of Engineering and Technology, uh, um, uh, Mr. Rakesh Thailji, 
if uh, he can contribute that how the leadership is acting and how the leadership is contributing to the overall growth of the community through the fight as an appellate form please sir yeah good morning everyone uh so uh thank you rajiv ji for giving me uh, this kind of an platform to share uh, what we believe in and how pite has evolved as an institution which believes in nature which believes in uh that how you can protect and preserve your nature the things given by nature to us and what we can do to preserve it so that our four generations can you know enjoy it as our forefathers have so first thing uh, we need to you know uh, protect the habitat the natural habitat which is there you know we need to plant the trees which are uh, you know the natural habitat of that particular region because if you do that you know then uh, the birds and the animals which feed on that they will be there right it is very difficult if you want to uh, you know Uh, take certain plants from certain countries and plant it here in uh, your city then the survival rate would be a little bit uh, you know a kind of an, a difficulty but what we have done is we instead of like uh, you know you know for the uh, sake of fanciness you know we have adopted more ornamental plants and uh, these things instead of using our own uh, you know uh, the plants which were native to your particular uh, place so we need to work on all this if you we are going for any kind of an you know plantation drive and things like that because you need to work on that how to conserve the species the how how you can conserve the birds and the you know the things because these are uh, you know depleting in a very uh, fast manner so you need to think in that particular manner as well and uh, as panipat is known as you know a natural you know what do you say a recycling hub of the world uh when it is uh, talked about in textile and uh, as we also have a textile uh, department in our uh, institution i would like to mention here that we have initiated lot many projects uh which has helped the local industry in uh, recycling uh, you know all these kind of an uh, products like uh, the plastic the pet bottles now in our one of our associate uh, company we are producing uh, rugs out of this pet uh, waste and we are collecting lakhs and lakhs of bottles and making a very uh, you know uh, potent use of all this uh, waste material and converting them into dhuris and now these dhuris has been uh, rugs our uh, floor covering rugs are exported to uh, the western world and they are very uh, very popular so these are the kind of things when you can uh, you know actually convert Uh, the problems into opportunities and give uh, some kind of an sustainability uh, to the uh, business as well as and protecting your nature so that is what like if you want to educate then you need to work on the areas which are the problems and how we can eradicate all these problems so the other major problem was like uh, when we uh, you know look into a broader aspect that uh, how we can bring happiness right so the one thing is uh, through education providing a quality education and that too if we have inclusive education so there are lot many uh, you know um, there are lot many policies which are going on like the government is giving some kind of an you know uh, scholarship to the students who are belonging from uh, uh, you know sketch, uh, scheduled caste and uh, you know some backward classes and things like that but you know uh, the last mile connectivity was not there in the schemes which is uh, been you know offered by the governments and uh, drafted by the government so if the students don't have the money to pay your transportation then even if uh, the government is giving you some kind of intuition support then the things are not going to materialized to give that kind of an system we uh, you know approach the administration we talk you know to lot many schools in the government sector you know the students and the girl students studying over there that what are the issues we we conducted a total you know kind of a survey and we uh, noted out that uh, there are like very few schools and the government schools which are offering uh, science uh, as in you know their um, uh, uh, subject so we encouraged all these uh, you know the schools the principals 
uh, and the students to come over and see our idea lab, see our, uh, you know, all that stuff. So that that kind of awareness could be given to them so that they can join it. And then we waived off all the transportation fees for the girls students. So if they want to get into any technical uh, subject. So now they, every fee matter is being taken care of by the institution or the government. So they don't have to pay anything. And we are sensitizing them. We are reaching out to them and we are encouraging them. We are also working with uh, some of the projects along with ISRO that how to launch, uh, you know, a kind of an orbital satellite. And we are taking, uh, you know, all these government schools into uh, this particular system. So we are empowering, uh, you know, the ones who don't have that kind of a privilege or accessibility to, uh, you know, the high tech labs or information or technology. So we are we are doing every uh, bit of it so that we reach out to uh, the last and, uh, you know, and and we make them proud. Right. So that is what the thing is. We, we, we need to make them proud as well. So because if, if they are not privileged, if they are not studying at the you know, topmost uh, private colleges or schools, then, uh, you know, what we can bring them, you know, how we can include them into the system. So that is what the question is. And we are uh, taking care of it. And I'm, I'm very, uh, you know, happy to share and uh, that our schools are also uh, doing a lot of thing into this uh, caring and sharing aspect. And uh, I was really touched when uh, I saw a kind of a video uh, where, you know, the small kids were making sandwiches uh, themselves, you know, in one of their uh, classes, they were making sandwiches. And a uh, few, uh, you know, the students, like the street students were, who, who didn't even get a chance to uh, go to school. So these students were called to the school and they were playing uh, with our school students and our students who had made the sandwiches themselves, they were uh, feeding, uh, you know, uh, the street students and playing with them. So that was kind of an happiness, which, uh, you know, we can see in the eyes of the students when, you know, they learn these kind of the lessons quite early in the stage. You know, that is that, uh, you know, we believe in, you know, giving happiness. So we believe in that broader concept, whether it is for the school students at the younger age or uh, for the ones who have forget like how to smile. We have, uh, you know, partnered with, uh, uh, we have, you know, a partnership with all the administration and done a lot many rahagiris and uh, the marathon drives and things like that, where we have, uh, you know, uh, on the Sundays, uh, we usually used to have uh, the camps on the streets where uh, we used to have all these games, you know, for the uh, uh, grown-ups, the elders, the, you know, the young, everyone going to mix and they were dance, they're going to enjoy, you know, the games which they used to do in their child uh, childhood days, you know, so the old games and everything. So this is to reduce the stress, to bring back, because uh, the, other, the other way of controlling, you know, this stress and medical bills is to make you happy. And uh, what else can bring more happy if you are collaborating and coming in community and playing without any reason, right? So in certain marriages, you go, you go for your, uh, you know, known ones and relatives. But we, when you are coming on a social platform and community and you're enjoying and you're playing the games which you used to play in the childhood games, which no child in nowadays plays, they are more on the video games and on the TV or computer. So they're not going out and playing uh, these kind of and, uh, stuff, which we used to play in our days. So this is bringing back your old memories and, you know, making that happy. So we are very much aligned with that. And we have done a lot of things and we had made world record, as Director Sir also mentioned, that uh, in the women's marathon, there were more than 50,000 women in Panipat which participated. And that is a world record. And we got it listed. And, uh, you know, the women from the villages, they have joined that because they got that inspiration, that they got that confidence that they are uh, not, uh, you know, behind uh, anyone, right? And they are walking hand in hand with, uh, you know, the world community. So that is what uh, the Panipat is doing. And we are doing a lot many initiative. Uh, we, are, we have adopted the five villages uh, around uh, the campus. And we are doing a lot many campaigns over there with our NSS team, with our road track team. So these are the kind of clubs which we have initiated and the students are uh, taking care of it and they are doing it uh, from their own system. 
you know so so these are the kind of things like uh, uh, pait is uh, pursuing with the core uh, you know uh, what do you say the core uh, you know the focus is on all these things that we make it more sustainable right so let it be energy how to conserve the resources and we have won the clean and green campus award by uh, from aict as well right so uh, that is a testimony to this kind of in fact that uh, i would also like to share that by our viewers so one of the, uh, the rarest of the nest you will find in any of the campuses so you can find that uh, by our viewer nest uh, here at pite campus lot many places so that by our viewer uh, you know the nest they uh, settle Uh, in the area where they found that it is very safe and conducive so uh, that is the certificate which is given by the nature to us and uh, i don't think so that any other certificate is more important than conserving your own nature and protecting it right and when uh, the gold says okay fine this is the place where these 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 kind of in birds can reinstate and rebuild their colonies and when these birds comes they they, they come in a uh, colony kind of an uh, system so they don't build only one nest or two nests they build thousands so that is uh, what the fact is and uh, i would like to contribute let's see like what the students have done what kind of in projects they've been doing whether it is the blood donation camp and i would like to also say like uh, when the corona was there uh, our students and the faculty members they ventured out they distributed food packages they even made uh, the food in the campus and they were doing it uh, throughout the covid time we also we were the ones who uh, through our textile uh, department uh, got the pp kit uh, you know um, tested uh, by the drdo and then the same was been uh, produced by uh, you know many uh, industries and it was supplied to uh, the whole nation earlier we were importing it so these are the kind of an initiatives like which which are in need and we also uh did uh, some kind of an um, you know oxygen concentrator because there was a huge demand for that so that is like uh, like sharing and caring uh, aspect uh, because we don't have a hospital but we were doing uh, you know quarantine facility uh, for the covid patients during the tough times so this is how uh, you you know when you believe in it you come forward and help the society and uh, you know that is all about bringing happiness and caring uh, in in this young generation like which has to take the, and uh, you know and work on this un sustainable goal model yeah uh, uh, thank you uh, rakesh ji uh, for providing such an a beautiful thing i i really uh, want to reiterate uh, that line which you said that if nature gives you an a certificate you don't need any other certification a wonderful thing that uh, you have taken numerous initiatives starting from keeping the nature the keeping the habitat around it and keeping the people happy people means the generation which come forward with from the happiness they have automatically get sustained into that natural habitat where the, the this has been uh, built within the institution and around that institution around the villages good to know Uh, that now everything the 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 the, uh, the education is not remain the same education which was on the previous years now we are started talking about as in a sustainable development as the sustainability and ab about the awareness as in a, as in a central point of education everywhere and the pite is taking its initiative into this direction where even the gender equality you said i mean the you the institution hold in a record where the uh, more than 50000 uh, girls the women from that region has participated and they have come forward and you have made in a record and you have sensitized them to all that ecosystem which you have created as in it, uh, under the under your leadership within that institution also it is in a tremendous contribution which I, uh, we can very easily can say it is definitely building a legacy that is the sustainable way which we are going to go is not for one generation or the two generation it is the generations the habitat which you are creating which people will going to come and enjoy and the nature is going to stay there and can enjoy that area in a bigger way and another interesting part which uh, i would like to again to say 
that your institution is being uh, at at tier two and tier two three cities. It is not in that uh, cities where we call the metropolitan cities, where there are different type of ecosystems have been built. You have got your own constraints to uh, come forward, and there that's why uh, I, I'll say. Uh, uh, the the diff government have also taken those initiatives where they, they also said that we are building the communities of the innovators. We are the fighters uh, uh, going in, in a bigger way also. So this slide, if you can see over there, this is the Atal Community Innovation Center and the Niti Yog. They said even they are providing the fellowships. And if you look into the farthest corner, there is an SDG linkage into that on the top corner. And all those things which the PIT is doing it is in, in, in already in built into uh, the, the, the idea which the uh, Niti Yog under the AM has also generated. So congratulations to, uh, to, to your institutions for doing all these things and joining the dots where the real impact can be measured and can contribute to the, to, to the mission of Niti Yog of sustainable development uh, goal mapping at the district level and at the localized ma manner. So this is, this, these youth can contribute in, into this, and they started contributing. Where you can, you, I, I could hear from uh, uh, your passion and your voice that uh, the students who are making the food for themselves or the sandwiches in the school, they ask those the privileged, uh, the, the, uh, the non-privileged uh, people who, who are on the streets to come to the education institution, can enjoy the food, can enjoy the environment. And you started giving the education and the access of your institution to uh, those people who don't have this access to them. And this is the sustainability in real sense, which is going to matter in building the, what you call the resilient, what we call the strong communities in that region, which in coming uh, days is going to contribute in this manner in a big way. And you also said, that you have adopted five villages. This is something very interesting, where the academia is, uh, uh, the, the academia environment, the ecosystem which academia is uh, building, they are contributing to the challenges where I think the agriculture, the growth of the economy of the, the rural area. And uh, I know that um, uh, a couple of innovations which your institution has done are addressing the, the rural economy where the government is also looking those innovations and giving funding and giving support that they, 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 they look into the challenges of those rural areas. And quite happy to know that five villages have been adopted by them, where you are providing the education, the health, the water, uh, the, what you call even their challenges for irrigations, where your technologies, uh, the, the IoT-based technologies for irrigation of uh, th th those areas, the, the institution is building into the idea lab where the, where a lot of support from different departments has also come forward. So at this moment, uh, if you allow, if I can find there are a couple of students also, I mean, who are joined and they have contributed uh, 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 w w through the sensitization which Pite has provided to them. They have created a couple of apps. They have created a couple of actions. Okay, just hold on to this. I mean, this is the slide. This is becoming in a very interesting, I mean, which, which I could make out. We are at one side, this is an ideal lab. There is a one side where the uh, UNAI, the United Nations Academia Impact is joined the hands. And one side, it is in a different departments who uh, on, on this colorful, uh, what you call the circle of the uh, SDGs, they started contributing into that. So uh, uh, love to see this slide from uh, the fight where the joining of hands in a bigger way. And mm -hmm. another thing which I may not forget when you when when the Rakesh said that this uh, Panipat is an a, a area, this is a world's biggest what you call a place where the recycling hub in textile is happening, and your institution is providing them the input, the technology, the know-how, that how from waste to wealth through can be created and your manufactured uh, fibers or manufactured what you call the, 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 from the plastics, you have created the rugs which are known throughout the world. Appreciate that. 
and i know i mean because this uh, this uh, this interaction is going to be displayed at the international level the people should understand that how the panipat that area where there are lot many challenges there and then how they are making those challenges into opportunities through the knowledge through the institutions through the academia uh, so here i will uh, request dr bhavna if uh, if there are a couple of students if they have got some video or some pictorial things which they can share with us so the people should understand that whatever we are saying we are this has been endorsed by those actions are endorsed by the couple of interesting pictures uh, if you can share those pictures the videos whatever you have got or the student if you have got with you they can also put in a one or two liners they can come forward to dr bhavna please thank you thank you very much sir uh, well uh, having a wonderful discussion from our senior panelist over here i would like to mention that uh, the same uh, platform platform is also utilized very well by the students of our institute and school for this particular purpose we had made the committee of uh, working member of the students and for this particular committee the president for unai uh, promotion and enhancement uh, ashish chog will be the president vice president isha gupta and harsh gupta secretary tripti jain and abdul khadir Treasurers Prabal, Raghav, Nidhi, and Prish. Some student supporting team members are Akib, Aditi, Mandi, Mohit, Muskan, Pragati, Ritika, Parvesh, Yashvi, Purav, and Ayushi. So, I am very happy to see the enthusiasm of our students that they are very. enthusiastically involved in this unai activity and will be promoting this unai activity by conducting at least one event every month so thank you all of you students now i invite the student yashvi goel from fight could uh, fight uh, nfl to please present your ppt yashvi goel over to you thank you so much ma'am mm -hmm. i'll be sharing my screen i hope my screen is visible yes yes yashvi you may continue good afternoon everyone i'm yashvi goel from pipe sans kiri senior secondary school nfl panipat of grade 9 the meaning of my name is popularity and it is a dream of mine to do something that benefits society and the planet i live in i'm grateful to my school and management for giving me this opportunity to present today a goal of mine about which i'm going uh, i'm going to talk about is donate what you don't use I'm very honored to present this presentation and be the part of the change. Now, without any further ado, let me start the presentation. As Gautam Buddha once beautifully said, thousands, uh, thousands of candles can be lighted from a single candle, and the light of the candle will not be short. Happiness never decreases by being shared. What changed my perspective and motivated me? My mother is really fond of reading books. So, you, uh, so she, uh, so she used to read me books uh, that uh, that she was reading at the moment. Once she read me a book, which moved me and opened my mind to the fact that social classes are not set in stone. A couple of days later, our cook brought his family to our house, and I was surprised to meet his daughter. She worked in a bank and was really successful. The fact that the father worked really hard so that her so that her daughter can have a better and comfortable life really changed my perspective. It made me realize that given a chance, everyone can make progress, and I'm grateful to be born in a prosperous, prosperous family, and I should help others to make this place a better one. Some small steps taken by me to achieve this goal. Why should you donate items that you don't use? We should donate because it helps the environment and helps in reducing waste. The one of the most important reasons to donate is how many people it helps. It helps those in need. Donating helps. Uh, uh, donating helps build a vital change in all people, helping them to become more generous. When you share something, you learn a lot of skills. Since my childhood, my parents always encouraged my brother and me to give back to to the society in which we live. On special days, instead of lavishly spending a lot of money, I like to donate the uh, donate to the children of the orphanage. 
it gives me a sense of satisfaction. I've also made a video promoting Donate. The name of the video is Sharing and Caring and it is uploaded on my YouTube channel. Whenever I got, uh, whenever I got time from my school and uh, work, I teach young children because I believe that education is the most precious gift you can ever give to anyone. If you're educated and capable, there are a lot of chances that you can succeed in life. I have worked with various organizations and I, and I have donated a lot of items that I, do, that I do not use so that some other children can make better use of them. Most of the books are one time read and they can produce a lot of waste and it is not good for the environment. I've always been donating books that I have read. I have donated my novels and storybooks to the school, school library to reduce waste. I also try to borrow books rather than spending my money to buy new ones. This way you can, uh, this way you can also save a lot of money. I'm associated with organizations that care for animal wel welfare. I often visit stray cow shelters and try to contribute in feeding them in, what, uh, in whatever small way I can. I always encourage their pupils for such cases. Thanks to our management and teachers for motivating us to, to do better in life. I keep clay bowls and fill them with fresh water and seeds for the birds. I also distribute these eco-friendly bowls to all interested in the same. With the help of my team, I've made a video and uploaded it on my YouTube channel to make people aware for, uh, of the importance of keeping water for birds. I live by the quote, we rise by lifting others by Robert Ingersoll. Social media really influenced my life and I use social media as a platform to showcase my ideas. I upload education and informative videos on YouTube under the name of WhatsApp Genius. I have another YouTube channel, Game Secret Generation, where I upload videos related to spirituality. The, the uh, channel is monetized and the funds earned are used for social media through the charitable organization Parvati Siva Sanskhan. My future manifestation. I have realized that Smaller actions can lead to bigger goals. There are many children who have great potential but do not have the resources and opportunity to flourish and succeed. If I'm able to find and help even a few of them and nurture them to success, it would have a cascading effect. More and more children from the lower strata of society will realize that it is indeed possible to break the shackles of society. Once they realize that they will learn, once they realize that they will then work hard and we will slowly see a change to the better. Some of my achievements and appreciation. My brother and I have been earning money from you. All the money I earn goes to charity. Our school has always motivated and supported us. Asthma contribution in the mass media skills to encourage and create awareness among people of all ages. I have been recognized and as media ambassador by my school. My school has always inspired me and motivated me to excel in all my en in all the endeavors and touch greater heights in my life. I'm associated with Parvati Seva since 2014. This organization is helping me achieve my dream of service to society. Our school secured first rank at the SDG Fest 2021, hosted by Alchemy International School. And I'm grateful to my school to give me the opportunity to represent my school in that manner. Thank you so much, dear spectators and audience, for watching and listening to my ideas and books. I hope you liked my presentation. Yes, th thank you, Yashvi. That was very wonderful presentation from your side. In fact, I would like to mention there are a number of students who are very keen to present their ideas. Some of them have developed technological apps. Some of them are working uh, the other way around and all of them want to present, but due to shortage of time, we are not giving the platform to all of the students. But yes, of course, we'll be doing, we'll be keep on doing these activities every month and we'll be uh, very happy to, uh, if you all will contribute to such type of activities. Thank you, Yashvi. Uh, next, I would like to uh, welcome Pite uh, uh, Huda School.
to please come forward and uh, present your thought over here uh, meanwhile uh, i i just want to say my college students that i am giving this opportunity to just two school students just to motivate them yes i understand you all are doing very well you all are applying your best efforts in this particular direction will be using your uh, your uh, your efforts and you are will be appreciating your efforts in some way but for today's will be using this platform for just two school students one from fight uh, nfl and another from fight huda arpana ma'am are you there okay she'll be joining in just two minutes so i can just make a small submission till ma'am joins maybe bhavna ma'am you can ask couple of your colleagues your teacher colleagues and your professor colleagues who have worked on the project okay right? okay okay meanwhile uh, meanwhile uh, some of my colleagues are working very hard uh, to make this project move ahead uh, one of them is dr shiva she is from pharmacy i request dr shiva ma'am to please uh, share your thoughts on this platform so good afternoon uh, one and all uh, so i first of all let me thank you bhavna ma'am for giving me this opportunity and i'm greatly thankful to the higher authority also and uh, here i want to share like uh, that uh, in the fight we have uh, uh, we have constituted a kind of academic association uh, and the purpose of academic association is for the welfare of society and for meeting with the sustainable development goal so i want to congratulate all the students which are involved in this academic association which is a kind of institutional student working committee and it, uh, i want to congratulate uh, president uh, archis chug vice president uh, similarly secretary and the treasurer uh, and all the supporting uh, student working committee so they are working very hard not all to meet the sustainable development goals not only in the campus but also uh, by the community outreach activity for the welfare of society and ultimately leading to the welfare of human kind and uh, that that uh, that uh, they they are showing that they are a responsible citizen resp they are showing their responsibility and along with the so they they are working hard uh, like uh, there are some examples which uh, for example by cleanliness drive they they are going to aware uh, local farmers they are going to uh, uh, meet some some kind of workers uh, to educate the privileged people for the some kind of uh, like uh, children of privileged people and similarly uh, some some kind of research project uh, so whenever uh, a kind of a research project we we can design further on the basis of some societal problem uh, means yeah. they, they are going uh, so uh, now, I, now i want, want to congratulate again so thank you ma'am thank you very much ma'am you work very hard for this project and i really appreciate your efforts now i want to invite miss pooja gupta ma'am from bba department good morning ma'am uh, good morning ma'am ma'am we are from pite huda can we give a presentation just a minute ma'am just after 2 uh, minutes i'll be giving it to you okay ma'am uh, good morning good afternoon everyone it's good afternoon it's a great opportunity to be part of this webinar it's been a current topic to hear the initiative regarding sustainable development goals thank you so much senior dignitaries and every student present here for enlightening us with this current theme and gracing the moment thank you so much thank you thank you pooja ma'am you always extend your support for us uh, now i would like to invite fight huda school uh, ma'am arpana you may please carry on good morning everyone uh, i am simran bedi from fight huda and i will be taking care of this session uh, greetings on behalf of fight santriti school huda as fightians we believe that we define ourselves with gratitude sanskriti technology who are committed to bring a positive change for betterment of all 
So now I would present two Pythons in front of you who will you, who will be telling you about why donation is not only really important for bringing sustainable development, uh, sustainable development goals uh, in the future, but we have to look beyond donation and we have to look at systemic change and individualistic change. Over to you, Pythons. Hey, Anya, what's up? Why do you seem so tense? That tikka on your face makes it look like you've just returned from a temple. Shouldn't there be a look of contentment on your face? You are right about this, yes. I had visited my neighborhood temple for Mahashivratri celebrations. I had a great time there, but... But what? Wins. There were so many devotees out there who were offering flowers and what not. It initially made me happy, but when I thought that all those items will ultimately end up in a garbage bin, I was extremely disheartened. What kind of world are we living in, Vithi? The future seems bleak to me. On one hand, the world is seeing the Ukraine and Russia scenario, while on the other hand, we students are trying to preserve it not only for us, but also for the future generations. Your reasons to fret are valid, my dear. As one of our teachers says, we only take, make, and dispose. What a sad state do we live in. But still, we can save our environment. Let me try and explain a bigger picture to you. Okay. Yes, our teachers at PITE have recently explained to us about a concept called circular economy. When everything is healthy, food for everyone. Oh, Wow, but I wonder how one implements this in this materialistic world? Good question. Let me discuss how we had conducted a unique donation drive at our school. Not like regular donations drives. We were asked to donate clothes, food, money, whatever we don't use. Oh, then what's so unique it is and what's so interesting about it? Students from the school had donated ideas to solve real life problems. They were asked to donate research work to donate their love, affection and time. The most precious resource to the one in need and rather one student even discuss about the mechanical fashion. You know how Pythians can be real nerds when it comes to research and innovations. Yes, that's something we need to work upon. Apart from donating, we were also inf inspired to use five bars. Reduce, reuse, refuse, reproduce, and recycle. And we're taught that donation means donate your vision. Donate the things you don't use. Yes, and we all should educate others, spread awareness, volunteer, donate, recycle, and upcycle. Wait, how upcycling can be done? Our teacher cited this example of a brand called Pool, which uses wasted flowers from temples to make incense sticks organic gulat and wellness pack. So for our economy to be circular, there are many things that companies can do before the end of any product approaches. Many things can be taken care of at the stage of raw material generation, designing R&D, and lastly, the process of recycling. Wow, what a wonderful idea of ensuring sustainability. Yes, such an organization is truly fulfilling SDG's goals. Thank you, Vidhi, for making me realize that donations are merely not enough. We need to build a circular economy for a brighter future, both systemically and individualistically. Yes, donations merely are not enough. We need to remind with every breath that there is no planet B. We need to think as innovators. We need to think as communicators. And we need to keep this in mind. Donation has endless options. Donate research ideas. Try to solve real life problems. And similarly, when we started this learning process, the continuous circle economy from home to school and school to home, we had so many students coming up with so many ideas. Let me share you a glimpse of a 30 second video, how our student is making a change. He is not gifting any gifts. He is trying to gift plastic, but with plants inside. So let me share you. Uh, let's connect. Yes, Pite. So let me share with the video with you. Hello everybody. I am Panchal from class 7 of Hello everybody. I am Panchal from class 7 of Python School School Hudda Panipat and today I will be talking about SDGs that is sustainable development goals in a real life. You know when SDG was introduced in a school initially I found it very boring. 
but later on i realized that it is an interesting concept which gives a generation something creative to do i majorly work upon recycling as you can see my terrace garden my father help me to set up this in a beautiful manner and my mom's kitchen waste provide the compost needed for the plants me and my friends are working on it and we usually sit together to brainstorm what else we can do to make our earth a better place so let's connect save love and live in the new era yes aur ha ab main ye yakeen ke sath keh sakti hu ki hamare acche din aane wale hain अगर हम एकजुट होकर के इसी तरह से काम करते रहेंगे तो सस्टेनेबिलिटी दूर नहीं थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन। ओवर टू यू मिस भावना लेट्स ट्रेवल द पार्ट टुगेदर। यस 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 ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ कोर्स। एंड लेट्स इनोवेट। इट्स एजुकेशन 4.0। थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन। थैंक यू थैंक यू अर्पणा मैम एंड थैंक यू विधि एंड बोथ ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट्स आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू सी दिस टू दिस सी द एफर्ट्स ऑफ माय यंग चिल्ड्रन यंग स्टूडेंट्स ओवर हेयर। so with this uh, effort display i am very much sure that we are going to achieve all the goals of the sdg with the pipe education society so uh, again uh, i request all of my students from the pipe college as well to please turn on your cameras i know that your efforts are not displayed at this platform but of course we'll be giving you the opportunity but just show a mark of respect by turning on your camera we'll be having one photograph all the students from pipe college please turn on your camera we'll be having one photograph all other members all other senior dignitaries as well all the members from school pipe sanskriti huda school pipe sanskriti nfl school please turn on your camera pipe sanskriti nfl all the members pipe sanskriti huda all the members rest of the students from pipe college all of you are requested to please turn on your camera and pooja ma'am can we click one photograph in the large view <laughs> yeah dr bhavna i'm mean, uh, just uh, uh, while you are taking uh, the snaps of the smiling faces the young faces the contributor towards the sustainable development goal mission at the pipe and the and that ecosystem uh, i i'm so excited i mean uh, to put in a one liner over here yes yes of, course, yes of course yes of course sir i i, yeah, I, I would yeah. be very happy yeah. to uh, while, while, while uh, listening to uh, concluding thoughts from your side only please no, please because sir. of the time limit i am just concluding parallelly only yeah, so yeah. looking into these uh, uh, the the young uh, brains i mean coming forward uh a, a, a big thought coming to me i mean mind i mean uh, which i used to say that the, the in future the language which this planet is going to understand the language of this planet will be the sustainable development goals the sdgs and the religion should also be the sdgs because this means a better planet as in our home if we have to keep happy ourselves our parents are taking care like the united nations to make this uh, uh, the planet happy and sustainable and what you what whatever you call it they 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 partner uh, the member countries they have contributed in building this uh, 17 goals you start achieving you start aligning your thoughts along with them and if you are making an impact what you call an a localization of the sdgs the way the pipe is doing with the the youth which are we say as the leaders of tomorrow it is definitely create an a good i mean a planet worth living and enjoying good luck to all of you i hope i mean yes uh, yes of course sir under country. your mentorship will surely be achieving all these goals thank you very much sir thank you all the dignitaries over here thank you my dear students without your efforts this could not have been possible thank you all thank you once again bye bye